Hey there! Welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Tips. Today we are going to discuss a topic that we've all experienced at some point in our lives, and that is, goosebumps. You know that sudden shivering sensation on your skin that makes your hair stand on end? Yes, that's goosebumps. Goosebumps, also known as, goose pimples, chill bumps, or, horripilation, are a fascinating physical response that we've all experienced at one point in our lives. It's an involuntary response that occurs when we experience strong emotions such as fear, excitement, or awe, or when our body temperature changes. But did you know that goosebumps are not unique to humans? In fact, animals such as cats, dogs, and even birds can also experience goosebumps. And interestingly, it is believed that animals also get goosebumps as a way to appear larger and more threatening to potential predators. Now, let's dive deeper into the science behind goosebumps. As mentioned earlier, goosebumps occur when the tiny muscles at the base of each hair follicle contract, causing the hair to stand on end. This contraction is controlled by the autonomic nervous system, which is responsible for regulating various unconscious bodily functions such as breathing, heart rate, and digestion. But why do we get goosebumps in the first place? Well, the primary function of goosebumps is to help regulate our body temperature. When we are cold, the contraction of these muscles helps to trap a layer of air around our skin, providing extra insulation to keep us warm. Similarly, when we are frightened or emotionally aroused, the sudden release of adrenaline can trigger the muscles' contraction, resulting in goosebumps. Interestingly, researchers have found that the muscles responsible for goosebumps are also connected to the brain's reward center. The brain's reward center is an area of the brain that is responsible for regulating our feelings of pleasure and reward. This center is activated when we engage in activities that are pleasurable or rewarding, such as eating food or engaging in sexual activity. It's also activated when we experience intense emotions, such as joy, excitement, or awe. Recent research has found that the muscles responsible for goosebumps are connected to the same neural pathways that activate the brain's reward center. When we experience intense emotions, the brain releases neurotransmitters such as dopamine, which activate the reward center and trigger the muscles to contract, causing goosebumps. This connection between goosebumps and the brain's reward center may explain why some people experience goosebumps when listening to music or watching a movie. For example, when we listen to a particularly moving piece of music or watch a powerful scene in a movie, we may experience a rush of emotions that activate the reward center and trigger the muscles to contract, causing goosebumps. Interestingly, research has also found that individuals who are more prone to experiencing goosebumps when listening to music or watching a movie tend to have a higher degree of emotional sensitivity. This sensitivity may be due to differences in brain structure and function, which affect how individuals process and respond to emotional stimuli. But are goosebumps good or bad for our health? In most cases, goosebumps are harmless and do not pose a threat to our health. However, in some instances, they can be a sign of an underlying medical condition. For example, if you experience frequent and prolonged goosebumps, it may be an indication of an overactive sympathetic nervous system or an underlying thyroid problem. Furthermore, if you experience goosebumps accompanied by other symptoms such as sweating, nausea, and dizziness, it could be a sign of a more serious condition such as an anxiety disorder or a heart condition. Therefore, it's essential to pay attention to any unusual or persistent symptoms and seek medical advice if necessary. Generally, goosebumps are a natural and normal physiological response that occurs in response to various stimuli. While they are usually harmless, they can also be an indicator of an underlying medical condition. Therefore, it's essential to pay attention to any unusual or persistent symptoms and seek medical advice if necessary. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information helpful, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for more informative and helpful content on living a healthy lifestyle. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family too.